So, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies is based on the Jane, on the Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith novel, Pride, and Prejudice, and Zombies, and basically blends the two books together and basically makes it a. And with the film, it basically makes it an action comedy horror film, and. But the bad thing is about uh, the bad thing about it. Even though I enjoy this film, is that even though the zombie aspect is great and the humor aspect is fun, you still get the boring aspect of Pride, Prejudice, Pride and Prejudice. I mean, there'll be some people who say, "Well, no, it's not boring." Well, I mean, it's fun, but for those of you who are just going for the zombie aspect, you're gonna be disappointed. I mean. I had fun with this film. I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't know a ton about Pride and Prejudice. I mean, I just know that basically whole f get uh, setup is basically like girl uh, and guy don't like each other, but guy secretly has feelings for girl, but he can't go for her because society says no because you're better or some or some shit like that. Um. So, uh, Lil Lily James plays Elizabeth Bennett, Sam Raleigh plays Mr. Darcy, Jack Huston plays Mr. Whitman, Bella Hoffcoat plays Jane Bennett, uh, Matt Smith plays Mr. Collins, and Charles Dance plays Mr. Bennett. Oh, and Lane Hetty plays as Lady Catherine Dubois. And I've got to say, the only, the only three people who actually helped, kept me entertained during this film, I've got to say, would be Mr. Darcy, played by Sam Raleigh, Matt Smith as Mr. Collins, and and as and as well as like say Tom's Elizabeth, uh, Lily, Lily James and Lena Hetty. I got to say, those are the only. Probably only a few of the actors who actually kept me entertained. I mean, because, well... Same, Mr. Uh, Mr. Darcy, he was a total badass. I mean, he's basically just... I'm, I am gruff, grouchy man who doesn't like expressing his emotions. And, I mean, I mean, even though that aspect of him, and it's just like, say, oh, this is so cheesy. But is he such a badass at it? Um, I also get to say, uh, Matt Smith as Mr. Collins, that is the best part, because that is so, I mean, even though he's awkwardly, it's, he's an awkwardly creepy character, you just can't help not laughing at him, he's just so, he's just so awkwardly funny. Like, he's gonna say, oh wait, oh wait, there's, da oh, uh, danger coming in heaven? Oh, apparently there is! And you just, you just move on, you just like, ah, <laughs> I mean, I also get to say, Lane, uh, Lane Hetty as Lady Catherine, that's pretty freaking awesome. Especially when they do a flashback and just shows, like, she's a, she's a boy and just like, shows like, Rah! I'm killing zombies. Although I gotta say, the one, one person out of this cast who did this fall like, even though he's the villain, I felt like he should have gotten more like time spent for him. Had to be Jack Huston as Mr. Whitman. Spoilers. Even though he's the villain, you, I mean, you get. I mean, in the book, you get like the essence that he's not the best dude because he's lying and he's trying to get the money and trying to like, basically just uh, steal the one of the uh, of the kid the girls away I guess um, he I just feel like he's just like stereotypical villain he's not like the most interesting villain besides just being suave and um, handsome and 
Although I will give him this and that it was pretty cool and the uh, twist and how all along he was a zombie and he was supposedly the zombie antichrist or something like that. And then speaking of the zombies, I gotta say with this, the zombies, I thought the makeup was great. I thought the makeup was great and the whole concept of like the first few hours they have um, having them turn they're still themselves they can still talk just as long as they don't eat brains then they don't go crazy um, the, um one of the biggest problems with this movie though is it's neutered it is fucking neutered and the tra and the trailers you see Mr. Darcy basically just killing a zombie and then, you know, cut, decapitating it. But, like, when that happens in the scene, it's the beginning of the film, and then you, then he just, like, it's the zombie's point of view, and then you just go, like, st uh, slash head off, blood, and then kick. And even though the zombie scenes, with what few there were, they were pretty cool, I mean, they were, there were some, but I just wish there had been more. To be honest, I felt like even though there wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have, even if there was more violence in it and more blood, it wouldn't have garnered it an R rating. And it wouldn't have added anything to it. Even if it did get a give blood, tons of blood to it, there wouldn't have been anything remotely and interesting going on. Basically just saying like, oh hey, there's blood going around and think like, oh, well okay. But overall it's I'm trying to think of how to say this because I wanna say I want I'm gonna have to give it a well, for the horror aspect and the action aspect, I'm gonna have to give it say a five out of 10. It has it has some great potential and it's fun, but it just it ha doesn't have it should it had it could have been better. That's as simple as it could as it all I can say. It could have been better. I mean, if it had been R rating, the editing was better better and perhaps there was just like more of the whole concept of the, the va zombies, not vampires, zombies. Then that would have worked. There could have been more of it. That's the big. That's the big pull of the of this film. It's the zombies. You're not gonna if like someone's gonna say, oh hey, it's probably person zombies. So look, someone's gonna say, well, okay. The way that this film could have gotten people to go in, go and see it and could have made big bucks was the zombie aspect and with what it had it was okay wasn't the best could have been better so yeah that's all I've got to say did you see um so have you seen Fire Person Zombies? if you have what do you think about it? did you like it? did you think it was great fun? put your comments down below I'll see you next time and as always thanks for watching